So a spiritual journey means facing yourself. Whatever good or bad you might have done, this is the time when you face it all. Are you ready? Are you ready to face yourself? Are you ready to handle what you have done? Are you, are you ready to do the forgiveness work that it requires for all those who have harmed you? So exactly the same way, this is one thing that I'm telling, telling you about, which makes people go crazy, which makes people go lose mental balance because they learn about their karmas. Another thing is, until now, you may not know that how angry you could be. But when you start walking a spiritual journey, suddenly the anger, anger, suppressed anger of all your lifetimes is going to come out. And when you see it, it may appear like a volcanic thing. Because just getting angry here and there, little bit, little bit, even that, if that bothers you a lot and if your own emotions bothers you a lot, then whatever has to come out is going to come out in a complete load. Truck load of bullshit is going to come out through a spiritual journey. Are you ready to handle it? If you are not, please stay ignorant. And please do not, please stay unconscious. Please stay sleepwalker, be a sleepwalker. Do not walk your spiritual journey. A spiritual journey requires a lot of courage. Facing yourself, facing all the bullshit that we keep on telling ourselves. Having the courage to forgive ourselves and the other people. Having the courage to stand in the darkest hour of your own. Self-image. Okay? So spiritual, that is why we say yogi can only be the one who is a kshatriya, a warrior. Not as in warrior to fight somebody else outside in the world. Yeah, if there is a need, we will do that as well as a yogi. Yogis are warriors. But it is about it's easy to fight somebody else because you are very good in accepting, accepting other people's mistake. Yes, he deserved that. He did that crime. He deserves that punishment. What about you? You might have done the same crime in the previous life. What about that? A lot of people are into the jails right now. Those who have not committed a crime in this life, but they have been falsely accused for something and they are spending a jail time. What have they done in the previous lifetime that has made the karmic situations accordingly in this lifetime for these people to be jailed? Karma is a double-edged sword. You know, when it comes to karmic settlement, when it comes to understanding karma, it's not just about cutting the other person's head. It's about cutting your own head. And when I say head, it is about what I mean here is ahem, ahankara, ego. The identities that you have created in your head. That's what I'm talking about. So do you have the courage to dissolve all your identities, your ahem, your ego? Do you have the courage to go into samarpan? Surrender, not to somebody outside of you. Just have a surrender, samarpan within. Do you have the necessary shraddha, devotion? Not to somebody or something, objectless devotion, objects le objectless samarpan, shraddha, objectless faith, objectless courage, unconditional do you have the courage to become unconditional from the conditional being that you are?